Hello, my name is Hamid James. I'm the product manager here at Panasonic for the Pro PTZ cameras and systems. And what we'll be covering today is PMEM, which stands for Preset Memory with our PTZ, our UE 150 camera, as well as our RP 150 controller. What PMEM does, it actually stores the information of the camera, the pan, the tilt, the zoom, the gain, the white balance, some of those key information um, in a preset setting within the RP 150. And we'll show you how simply it is to actually accomplish that. First, what you want to do is hit the PMEM button on the RP 150, and what you will see is the PMEM screen that actually appears. And as you can see, you actually have five different um, tables here that allows you to store up to 100 presets in the RP150. So what we want to do is position our camera, for an example, to create a particular shot. And we can zoom into that shot. And, what, and when we select F1, as well as preset number one, it just stored that as preset number one. So now, if you want to do a secondary preset, by moving the camera to another location and do F1 again, let's say with preset number six. Now we have just stored a second preset with the RP150. And it's very easy to actually retrieve that. We simply press the button and the camera will actually move into preset number one. And you know it's actually set to that preset from the fact that um, number one is actually highlighted yellow. And then we can hit preset number six and then it will go into preset number six. And what you notice right now, the camera is actually moving at a particular pace. What that means, within the RP150, you can actually set the speed and the time that it takes the camera to move from preset number one to a secondary preset. It's just as simple to add a preset as deleting a preset by simply hitting number four, I'm sorry, F4, and then preset number one, and you click OK. Now we have just deleted preset number one. So as you can see how easy it is not only to add and delete a preset and how easy you can actually incorporate this into your workflow.